Hey, you may be sure about hiring a landscaper or hiring somebody to do your landscape design. I'm gonna address five main questions that I get asked every week that are gonna help you understand what's involved in the process and why you should hire somebody to help you out and free up your time. Let's go. My name is Bobby K. I'm a professional landscape designer and installer. And on the channel, I help people with landscaping, busy people who are always looking to free up your time, save some money. That's what I'm all about. I wanna help you understand when it comes to hiring a landscaper, hiring a designer, what goes into it and why you should so that you're actually gonna make more money in the long run by doing so. Let's get right into it. Our first question comes out of Tennessee. It says, Bobby K, you're awesome. It doesn't say that. This is what it says. It says, Bobby, we had a bad experience with someone in the past. How do we get over this? And I see this all the time when it comes to hiring contractors. You get burned, you get your knees skinned up, and you don't trust people anymore. And, and I get it. Here's what I think you should do. Do some research. Go on Google. Go on you know, Better Business Bureau. Um, watch, go on YouTube. I mean, my God, nowadays, everybody's starting to get the trick that you know having a YouTube channel is pretty cool and you can provide some really good information. Go check people out. And then when you invite them over or you do a Zoom call or whatever it is to talk to them, have some questions ready. Make sure that you understand that, hey, they're a person just like you and you guys both want the same thing. You want for you to be happy. You wanna take care of the client, make sure that everything goes smooth and that everybody gets what they want. So. Do your research, prepare, and you'll be okay. All right, question number two comes out of Florida. It says, Bobby K, we love the channel, blah, blah, blah. Is your design worth the money? <laughs> Duh, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yes, absolutely. A design is the playbook. It is, it's gonna set you up so that you win. Have you ever gone to like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, and you go into the nursery and you buy a bunch of plants and you come back home, and you didn't really think it through and you're like, man, I don't even know where to put this stuff. That right there, two, $300 that you just dumped down the drain. Whereas a design is gonna be much more cost effective where you get the entire playbook, you understand what goes into it, you get to have conversations with a professional and just make sure that you are set up to win. A design also sets you up so that you can do things in stages. You don't have to install a $50,000 design all in one swoop if you can't afford it. Maybe you got 10 here and five here and then the next season you might do uh, the big part, whatever. Get a design, it's gonna save you so much heartache, time, money, yes. Question number three comes out of Washington. It says, Bobby K, what if we hire someone for the design and we don't like it? Well, when I do a design, I can tell you that there are edits involved because there's conversations and you get most of the information right there so that you nail it. But if you miss a little bit, you stub your toe, just have communication back and forth. Expectations need to be clear as crystal before you even start something like this. So if you're on the same page from the start, maybe there's just a couple tweaks, that's perfectly normal. But as a designer, I'm gonna take care of my clients. I wanna make sure that everybody gets what they want. So if you don't like the design, the designer should work with you and tweak it so that you get what you want. Question number four comes out of Texas, says, what if I'm in a different state? I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, they're in Texas. Doesn't matter. Nowadays, if you haven't gotten hit to Zoom, you are way behind. We can design, do anything right from a Zoom call, get all the information that's possible. So everybody's catching on to this. I've been doing this for a while, but you know, it is perfectly acceptable and easy to hire someone out of state and you're probably better off because if you're just subject to whoever's in town, if you're from a small town, maybe they're not the right person, but if you can scout people out, find people on YouTube, you know, that's gonna be in your benefit. So yes, you can absolutely do designs out of state. Final question, comes out of St. Louis, Missouri. Bam, right here. What can I expect in this process? Like how does the process go? Everybody does things differently. Typically there's the customer submission form, the follow-up, getting everything together, completing of the design, maybe there's some edits, setting everything up so that there's like a folder where you can see everything. I'm not gonna completely divulge my process, but the whole point is that there's always a process involved so that from start to finish, 
you know what to expect, you know what you're paying for, and you get what you want. It's that simple. Take care of people and they'll take care of you. So I hope that I've helped you clear up with those five major questions. I get asked them all the time. Those are the answers. We all are human beings. We all want to take care of each other and do the right thing. So make sure that you're hiring the person because you like the person. Don't always put everything into those Google reviews, but that's a great start. So anyways, this is Bobby K saying a yard without a plan is just a wish.